Screentail is an odd paradox Pokemon. While it doesn't always see a ton of play, when it does, it shows up big. This Pokemon can also prove to be quite annoying with access to Disable and Encore and the ability to get these moves off quickly due to its high speed with a booster energy. Well, on the team we're featuring today made by Twarzard in the Discord, we are showing off a new way to be annoying to your opponents with Screamtail. This Screamtail is running Howl to boost the attack of the other physical attackers on the team, Noble Roar to lower the attack and special attack of the target, and Encore to lock opposing Pokemon into unfavorable conditions. So let's hop into some battles and show why this Screamtail moveset will drive your opponents crazy. So in game one, we're up against the Sun Venusaur team, and my immediate thought is that I want to lock in Entei and Shen Pao. Entei can get bonuses in the sun, also forcing a Terra onto the Venusaur if that is what they decide to lead. And it can do big damage next to the Shen Pao that will lower the defense of the opposing Pokemon. Then in the back, I'm going to bring Screamtail as well as my Landorus. This is going to give me the opportunity to just do big damage, especially in the form of special damage into things like their Venusaur, their Torkoal, as well as the Walking Wake. Alright, not the lead I was expecting. Let's see... I think I'm just going to protect this turn and go for a Snarl. I think that's the best course of action. Just weaken this Torkoal a bit. They go for Reflect. See the special attack drop. There's the Eruption. We should take this relatively well on Entei. Yeah, that did nothing. Oh, uh, we can go for the stomping now. Honestly, I'm down to go for stomping Sacred Sword. I want to get as much damage off as I can. Torko's going to eat. Oh, it's buried. That sucks. All right, so they probably go for Spirit Break and uh, Heat Wave. Shinpao holds on. Special Attack drop, and we see Burning Jealousy. All right. I'm going to get in Lando now. Um, and I can go for another stomping over there and just go for a sludge bomb. Actually, I don't need to worry about this Grimmsnarl all that much. I'm kind of down to just go for a stomping and a protect just to see what they do this turn. They may just go for a protect. It's a nothing turn. It's a wash. There's the parting shot. I'm going to go for another stomping here. And I'm going to go for earth power. And either way, this is going to do huge damage to this Torkoal. Their name's Gita. I didn't even realize that. I'm battling the champion right now. What comes in? What comes in? It is the Walking Wake. Alright. That's going to do enough. We can Stomping Tantrum. Lovely. 
Venusaur comes in. I'm gonna swap into Screamtail on Lando. We have to Terra Normal here, otherwise we just get rocked by a Hydro Steam. We're still going to take a stupid amount of damage from Hydro Steam. Terra Fire. We got rid of their way of resetting the sun though, which is really good for us. I wish we were Terra Grass. Terra Grass would feel so good right now. No way they're weakness policy, right? They are totally weakness policy. Oh lord. Here they go. That's crazy. That's nuts. Grimstall comes back. They go for the earth power. We take that because we Terra'd. Lovely. Snarl goes off. Are they out of sun? There it is. There's the booster. We get our speed back. I mean, I just keep going for Snarl, I feel like. We encore them into... Uh, their earth power. Yep, that did next to no damage. They go for spirit break. Okay. Now what I do is I go for an E-Speed into the Venusaur, and I go for a Howl. To start boosting up the Pokemon that I have on the field. Venusaur is going to swap. Go. Screamtail getting a boost is really, really nice here. Spirit Break goes off. We're going to lose Entei. The question is, do we outspeed Walking Wake? New team. I got to pull this up on the side. Lando. 101. Walking Wake. 109. Ooh. So we need to get in Lando and see what they go for, honestly. I think we go for a Protect this turn and go for a... I want to go for a Noble Roar onto the Walking Wake. We're not out of this, but it's going to be a close one. They set up the Light Screen. Attack drop, special attack drop. They go for the Hydro Steam. Reflect wears off. So this turn, we go for the Earth Power. And we're going to go for the Encore. No, we don't go for the Encore. I thought we had Disable for some reason. We don't have Disable. I think I just go for the Play Rough. I think I go for the play rough. Oh yeah, with the howl that just KOs, baby. Alright, Screamtail. 
Lando goes off. Big damage. Lovely. Spear break. Special attack drops. Venusaur comes back. Venusaur. I'm going to get a substitute up and go for a play rough into the Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl goes down. We should outspeed the Venusaur, so we should be able to get our substitute up to take a hit. Lovely. Ooh, they have Sludge Bomb. That's a little scary. The poison sucks too. Earth Power and Noble Roar. We got to start lowering this Venusaur. Because now they really are in the point where they're like, I got to go for the... I got to go for the uh, substitute. Otherwise, I can just sit behind it and out, uh, outplay them. Earth Power goes off. Oh, that's perfect damage. That's such good damage. Oh, yeah. Giga Drain ain't going to do it. Giga Drain isn't going to do it. Love it. Even with the poison, we could go down to poison this subsequent turn. However, we just Earth Power again. Go for another Noble Roar. And that's the battle. GG, what a team. So much spice here. I love it. In game two, we're just up against the standard good stuffs team, but I immediately think I want to do as much damage as I possibly can and big damage for that matter. So I'm going to lock in Chen Pao and Dragonite in the lead. That choice ban on the Dragonite giving me a lot of play into the Pokemon that they have, even the Amoongus. And then in the back, I'm going to bring my Screamtail and my Ogre Pond. This is going to give me a lot of play into the Incineroar as well as the Hearth Flame Ogre Pond if that is their end game scenario. Also gives me the opportunity with Ogre Pond to follow me away spores. Okay. We just do as much damage to Amoongus as we can. They're going to swap Amoongus. Into Incineroar. Okay. We're gonna Terra. This should still cause some issues for them. They're gonna Terra as well. I wonder if they're just Terra Electric. Terra Ice, what? Okay, weird. Wow, that's crazy damage. I wish I used Sacred Sword. <laughs> I wish I used Sacred Sword, gee many. Terra Blast. Okay. What in the best of one shenanigans are we doing here? I've never seen Terra Ice Terra Blast. That's kind of kind of funky looking. Uh, we protect. And we go for another E-Speed. We take the Incineroar this turn. Were they withdrawn Incineroar? Alright, that's a good swap. T-Bolt goes off. We take that too.
All right, we have to just do as much damage to Raging Bolt as we can now. They're going to swap again. Into a Moongus. Okay. That's such good damage. Lovely. Down goes the Bolt. That's such good damage. Incineroar comes back. And I think I just get in my Ogre Pawn. And also get in Screamtail this turn. See what they decide to do. The double swap is kind of key here. Parting shot goes off into Screamtail doesn't care. You silly goose. Ooh, they do get the spore off though. That's kind of unfortunate. That is a skosh unfortunate. Uh, we go for the Ivy Cudgel and we go for the Howl. We just gotta kind of wait it out. Amoongus is gonna swap. Incineroar is gonna come back in. Right. They go for the moon blast. Big Ivy Cudgel would love a crit here. Oh baby, ask and you shall receive. Ask and you shall receive. Let's go. Amoongus comes back. We just go for a spiky. And we go for a howl. We just really are waiting on Screamtail to wake up. There's the knockoff. No item, so that's good. Pollen Puff goes off. Alright, we go for the Ivy Cudgel, we go for the Howl. Ooh, I should have encored them. Uh, we should be okay now. How? Should be okay now. Ivy Cudgel. Bop. See ya. Bye, Incineroar. <laughs> this team is very, very fun. Pollen Puff. Boop. Alright. This team is very fun. Uh, so we can get Chen Pao back in. We still have Sash intact. It's a beautiful thing. They could be. There is always the realm of possibility that they're Rocky Helm. I haven't been paying. We haven't even done damage to Amoongus, so we wouldn't know. Uh, we can go for another Howl this turn. They've already blown their Terra, so they can't get away from this Ice Spinner. So we just Howl boost the Chen Pao and one shot this thing. They're really taking their time. There is one out for you, and that is the forfeit button. <laughs> There's nothing else you should be waiting on. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my gosh, that's funny. What are we doing? What are we doing? There we go. There's no world Amoongus wins this. Big ol' ice spinner coming in hot. Boom. See ya, Amoongus. That's a GG. That is a GG. <laughs> then in game three, we're up against Gouging Fire King Gambit. This is normally the lead. Those two Pokemon, Gouging Fire and King Gambit, are going to see the field first. So I immediately want to lock in my Chen Pao and my Dragonite. This is going to give me a lot of options in playing both of those Pokemon. And then in the back, I'm going to bring my Landorus as well as my Screamtail. Landorus plays phenomenally into the majority of the team, either hitting them for super effective with its ground type attacks or its poison attacks. And then Screamtail is there for the support option. What do they got? What's the lead? What's the lead? Flutter and Gouging Fire. We have to Terra. But I'm kind of keen to go for a rock slide. I'm going to go for a rock slide. We're going to Terra normal. Go for the rock slide. Because if they don't burning ball work this turn, we do stupid damage to both Pokemon. It didn't, doesn't look like they burning Bulwark. There's the breaking swipe. And it's likely a Dazzling Gleam coming out. Attack drop. It is a Dazzling Gleam. Hopefully we take one. Yep. That's good stuff. All right, that should be in Sucker Punch range now. Um, and I'm going to swap in Screamtail for the Dragonite. But that should be in Sucker Punch range now. Swapping in the Screamtail saves us from a Breaking Swipe. Doesn't look like they're swapping. They could be tearing. Let's see if they Terra. If not, we get a free KO on Fluttermane. I hope they don't Terra. Yep. Thank you. We'll take your Fluttermane. Breaking Swipe. Obviously not going to hit Screamtail. This also puts us back in position to be able to use our uh, Dragonite with E-Speed. Now that we got rid of the Fluttermane. Which is very fun. The ultimate question becomes, am I faster than a Gouging Fire with Screamtail? What's the speed tier here? Uh, Screamtail, I believe I am way faster than Gouging Fire. I am super fast compared to Gouging Fire. Perfect. Um, This turn, I, I just want to go for a Protect. And I'm going to go for a Howl. I'm going to go for a Howl. Okay. Attack rises. They also go for a howl. Ivy cudgel. Ooh, they crit me. That's not good. That isn't good. Lando outspeeds Ogre Pawn.
Huh. Do they just go for a... I don't know. This is a tricky turn. Oh, they're just going to Terra. They are just going to Terra. We should outspeed, though. Lando outspeeds Ogre Pond. Oh, I thought I suckered the other slot. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Unfortunate. I really thought I suckered the other slot. Who do they go for? Shen. Okay. Okay. We get Dragonite back in. And they have their Chen Pao. We don't outspeed that, that's for sure. Ugh. I wish they didn't crit. That sucks. Um. I guess we just double. There's no other thing to do. We have to double the Ogre Pond and hope that they protect Chen Pao. That's our only out. They don't protect, I don't think. No, they don't protect. They don't protect. Ice Spinner goes off. We could have, I guess, gone for... Ah, uh, that's GG. That's GG. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. They played very well rotationally. This team's still so good. Still so good. Man, this team goes crazy. That Ogre Pond crit was so unfortunate.